hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 55 degree May 11th. Today is Thursday. This is also a little woman's birthday. Happy birthday to the mama. <laughs> she says I'm 29 again. <laughs> but anyway, the warmest morning we've had in, in quite a while. But I think it's supposed to be, get pretty warm. I don't think much more than than it's been you know it's been you know mid to upper 70s i think it's supposed to be a high of 76 so that'll work those temperatures just make you have dreamy thoughts all the things you want to do places you want to go all those kind of things i just love anything in the 70s is perfect well mama okay. sun's out weekend's coming Mm -hmm. and it's, the people are out. It's going to be a wild next couple days, it's I'm afraid. It's going to be busy. Yep, it's going to be hopping. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. <laughs> the parking lot is slam full out here. It is. Bikes lined all up outside there. It's crazy. You can't see any of them there, but there's a bunch of them. Well, let's dive in and see what, uh, what happens. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, you too. All right, Mom. Love you, see you, bye. I love you. Bye, mm, bye now. Bye. Make a quick stop at old tractor supply for some bird seed and dog food. It's always bird seed and dog food. But um, I didn't have much to film. I had really nothing to film today. It was something that I've worked on before. Probably spent too much time filming it. And was getting back on it and discovered a part's missing. What a bummer. But anyway. We're heading home. All right, so we made it home safe and sound. We're gonna mess around here a little bit. Stone stock with all, the only thing that's changed on this thing is I've uh, switched the dig servo over to the two speed servo. The, the parts come with it. You just you either, you gotta take the transmission apart because you have to take the limiting collar out of the transmission, the shift side, so that it can shift, and you take that collar and put it in the dig servo so that it don't accidentally dig on you while you're flying along. Flying, that's a kind of a loose term on these things but because they don't go very fast. And there's mine that has aftermarket steer, or dig and shift servos, and I have the... Uh, um, big bore pro line uh, pro scalers uh, shocks on this one and they're mounted in the correct place this has the stock shocks mounted on the suspension links that droops it about the same amount almost exactly but I found a way of doing it so that it doesn't knock the uh, the lower shock off because the shock the spring collars or retainers were hitting the, uh, the stock shock mounts, you remember what that was happening on this? Well, I figured out a way of doing that where it stays right in place. So let's just play around with the two trucks and uh, see how they, how they act with each other or one from the other. Bone stock and uh, not highly modified motor, aftermarket servos and everything like that and aftermarket shocks. Oh, when I got uh, those trio uh, differential, the pumpkin weights for the differentials on there, like 55 or 60 grams each. And uh, that you won't notice any difference for goofing around out here, but if you ever get into serious crawling, you'll notice. So let's play around. We'll start off with Kelly's. This is bone stock. Motor, everything. Like I say, the only difference is I lowered the uh, the uh, shocks down, which is about 10 millimeters. And I um, took the dig servo and swapped it to be the two-speed shift servo. Stock motor and everything on it. Stock. I mean, everything sucks. Nothing, not one piece of aftermarket anything is on this thing.
you gotta be careful going across this because it can the body can go over and scratch the on that linkage for the lawnmower thing oh you gotta be careful with the reverse with stock motors because uh they just kind of go <laughs> all right not that it's any big comparison test but here it is with a fusion or a hobby wing fusion se motor the shocks it has both shift and dig servos or function and uh it's using aftermarket servos throughout one thing the the ability to crawl at just like crazy low speed and you just hold the throttle and it controls braking and everything it goes downhill it just it's going to go what speed you're driving it at no matter what and uh, obviously it's got the aftermarket shocks on it mounted stock i went from 100 millimeter to 90 millimeters to get that 10 millimeter very scale look to it It likes to because the diffs don't unlock it tries to drag the front end because the diffs aren't free to the spool so on this slippery lawnmower deck it just drags but there we are for that part so i drove these things over here one in each hand um that's okay you know you can hold the the controller you know throttle steer and then throttle steer with your left hand. The, the biggest problem is you forget which one is in what hand. This is uh, the stone stock one. You, you have to add fuel to keep it going because it doesn't have that FOC feature of the that the uh, Fusion has. All right. Now here's mine with the mods and uh, the fusion motor. And all I gotta do is just pick a speed and I just hold the throttle there. I don't have to get any more throttle, don't have to do anything. It will, it will just keep going. Both of them, you'll note, have that torque steer in the frame <laughs> where it lifts that left wheel up. Which by the way, if you don't know that or not, but a, an actual, engine and like in this period the engines they had when you they would torque twist they torque with the right front semi trucks eh, almost all engines do it i mean there's some exceptions but all you know conventional motors will torque steer that way if they're pushed enough but interesting little tad bit okay this stock motor with its drag brake and i'm just going to roll over the hill and I'm not going to give it any brakes at all because you have to give it brakes for it to stop. Well, maybe I'll go halfway down the hill and stop it. But you'll note, okay, at this point, no throttle. Okay, give it a little bit of brakes, no throttle. Okay, this is the modded truck with a, with a Fusion SE. And I'm gonna hold the throttle at one speed. And now I'm gonna let go of the throttle. No brakes, I'm just letting go of the throttle. This is brakes with one of these, it just goes backwards. So that's no throttle. This one, no throttle. She, she, still, she still rolls. <laughs> but that's one speed, just hold it one speed, no matter what you do nothing stops it i could literally push the other truck and probably fold it in half before the or the wheels will lose, tra lose traction first but you're not stopping that motor something's going to break okay here's going over the first brick thing stock truck yeah gonna give it quite a bit of gas quite a bit to get it to go there is no foc now when I just go neutral throttle, 
that it just flops forward and it just there's nothing to stop it if I touch the throttle it just rolls actually it did pretty good I did really well actually swap remotes well, let's move this and farther out of the way come on you notice a different sound in the motor too I'm just gonna pick a speed I'm not gonna touch the throttle gave it too much speed though no matter what it's gonna hold that one speed I'm pushing the other truck that's pretty funny because it oh here, here here I'll put a good one for you hold on okay the one in the back has the fusion motor and let me show you something now watch watch the wheels on the front truck with the brush motor it just rolls the motor has no resistance and we swap remotes and let's try to make the wheels roll on a fusion motor it can't do it it's impossible when you let go of that throttle it is locked down because it doesn't have brushes it can easily do that because of the way that the brushless, brushless motor with that FOC technology, it just locks down. And it's not, the motor does not heat up or anything. It's just sitting there. It's waiting for you to go forward or reverse. Otherwise, it's locked down. Okay, the stock motor over the, get my shadow out of the way. Stock motor over the higher brick wall. Quite a bit of throttle, more throttle, more, more. And if it gets stuck when it releases, it lunges. Again, no FOC technology. She's doing real good though. She does fantastic for a brush motor. And off she goes on the other side. Let's try some FOC technology. And let me tell you the Fusion Pro is a much better engine than this Fusion SC. The SC is just a nice budget thing. It, it does everything you need to do for a rock roller. But the Fusion Pro is much nicer. See, at any point I can let go of the throttle. If I let go of the throttle with the stock one, it'll just roll backwards. The motor has no locking ability. Watch this, one speed. She just rolls away, just at whatever speed you set it at. Is it worth the 70 or 80 bucks, depending on which motor you get? There's a, a 1300 and a 1800. Spend the 10 extra bucks, get the 1800. Watch a lot of reviews. There's some weird things with the 13s. Just spend an extra 10 bucks and get the 1800. Plus, you get better wheel speed out of it. But uh, here, shocking difference, huh? Is it any less fun? No. With it stock, it's perfectly fine. Tons of fun. You'll have a ball. Is it better with the fusion motor and stuff like that? Absolutely. The joy and the pleasure of, of driving and, you know, no freaky reverse because you can drastically control the speed of reverse. You can knock it to 50%. In all fairness, the uh, Spectrum radio does have 100% throttle, 75% and 50%. 50%, if you're doing technical stuff, works great. Because it's not herky-jerky. It's, it's really mild. does well. Not as good as a fusion motor, though. Okay, one last thing that might be fun. Um, both trucks are in high gear. They both shifted into the high gear. All I've been doing so far is in low gear. So uh, this is a stock motor. Both have very similar. The my truck has a 5200 uh, battery. Uh, it's a, a, a S2 battery. It's a two cell battery. So uh, so very similar batteries. But watch the launch speed of these things. Okay, three, two, one. I apologize for that. The uh, stock 
motor. It was actually accidentally in first gear. So here we go. Three, two, one. Get this thing out of the way because they're behind me. I don't want to. Come on back over here, buddy. I'll let you sit over here and watch the race from the from the sidelines here. How about that? Hope the camera doesn't focus on that and not the here. We'll just leave it right there. All right. So here's the other one with a Fusion SE, and this is not the fast one. A Fusion Pro is noticeably faster than this. This is a Fusion SE. The Fusion Pro is a 2300. This is a 1800. So it is, yes, she is in second gear. Three, two, one. Not a huge difference, but you get them going around here. Don't be sneaking up behind me like that. But if uh, you get them both running together, it's night and day difference. But uh, there we go. There's just little tidbits of what the difference differences between these two all right well hello there YouTube man gotta love these nice nights mm -hmm. it's still 70 something out here yeah feels good yeah feels absolutely perfect mm -hmm. wind went away it was quite windy there earlier I had to have a little foamy mic attachment there it was buzzing about there it felt really good you got air conditioner running in the house already. I know, it's pitiful, isn't it? Yeah, walk we in there. We freezing a week ago. Yeah, walk in there, the house is all closed up. Well, AC's got to come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's nice, though. It's got windows open now. That's nice. I love it when you have the windows open. Yeah, and you can listen to all the sounds outside. Mama, the little birthday girl. Yeah. We didn't do anything tonight. We're hoping to do something tomorrow. We've got to calculate some things out, though. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm making a special Friday. Yeah. But you got lots of happy birthdays and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, lots from you guys. Yeah. Thank oh you. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> That's always nice. Yes. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the little comparison between stock oh, oh. and not so stock, and uh, not that huge of a difference. Um, the stock one's very, 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 probably the most drivable stock truck. I've ever ever driven. I mean, everything just works. But, uh, there, there she is. That's what the spends money and not spending a dime. That's uh, the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but other than that, I think we're gonna bounce. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. It's supposed to be like this again tomorrow, but hotter. Mm -hmm. And then increasingly hotter as the weekend goes by. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, a scorcher. In, uh, in the 90s. But uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Yes. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks now. Bye-bye. <laughs>